Trey, while I'm rooting for a good game in the Michigan-Georgia semifinal, I also feel like we've spent a month with this buildup talking ourselves into Michigan being on par with Georgia, and I don't think they are at all. (laughs) From what we've seen this whole season, I think that one game against Alabama and then what we saw with Michigan in the win over Ohio State has manipulated us into believing this is a toss-up game and I just don't believe that to be true. Do, do you, are you in line with me, or do you think that this may be a toss-up game? Which, by the way, raising my hand, I hope it is a toss-up game. The way it's a toss-up game is if Michigan gets after Stetson Bennett and they force him into problems, and Georgia's got to go to the bench and bring in JT Daniels. That's where it can get interesting to me, because if, if, if Aiden Hutchinson comes off that line of scrimmage and he's able to get after the quarterback that that's where everything comes to full full light when it comes to Bennett because the coaches have been praising him all week you know Munkin said he's been making national championship type plays all season long if you go back and look at his film coming from Munkin the Todd Munkin the OC but you look at this thing yeah I, I I kind of agree with you here it's like okay it's almost is it fool's gold that Michigan beat the hell out of Ohio State and rushed for 232 yards I'm kind of like, okay, maybe, but when you look at the way Georgia played against Alabama when they had to pass the football, and Kirby Smart comes out post game and says, we, look, this was, this was our game plan the whole time. We weren't going to try to establish anything on the ground. The way Georgia beats up on Michigan tomorrow is if they get Zamir White and, and, and Cook and get them involved, maybe Kendall Milton a little bit, and they just rush the ball down Michigan's throat and keep the ball away. And Stetson Bennett hits a couple play-action passes down the field, and and Georgia's all of a sudden up 17 to nothing, and Jordan Davis along the defensive line for Georgia is is coming up and putting pressure on Cade McNamara. Like, that's how I see tomorrow if if Georgia's going to beat up on Michigan can go. But my biggest thing, too, is, Chad, you know, how does Georgia contain Cade McNamara at times? Because we've seen where – you know, you go back and look at that SEC title game where Bryce Young got outside the pocket a couple times and was able to make plays down the field. So how does Georgia defend McNamara, defend Haskins at running back? You know, I'm hoping it's a good game. I think Georgia should come out and win this just based off their offensive line and their rushing attack. But, man, we've seen crazier things happen. And, and look, Michigan, I know that you might think it's full gold and I might think it's fool's gold, but they did beat us up on Ohio State and in the Big Ten game by, by title game by rushing the football. So Georgia better strap up and stop it. 